Welcome to Speaking Scientifically. Today's word is photosynthesis. 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 Have you heard that plants get the energy they need from the sun? Plants don't eat sunlight. They make food using solar energy. Photosynthesis means making stuff with light, and plants make food using sunlight. Now, the food that plants make is called sugar. Sugar! Sugar, 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 sugar. Sugars are like nature's battery packs or gasoline. How do you act when you eat a lot of sugar? <laughs> Sugars are the fuel that make you and the animals and the plants around you go. But take it easy on the sugars, because you can eat way too much, right? Right. To make sugars, plants need two things. First, breathe out and give them one of those things. <sighs> Thank you, human. When you breathe out, your body is getting rid of carbon dioxide. But carbon dioxide is exactly what plants take in to make their sugars. Number two, plants need water. Water. They actually take a tiny little water molecule and rip it up. It takes energy to do that, and that energy comes from the sun. Yay, the sun! At the end of photosynthesis, a sugar is born. Normally, we call her glucose. Oh, look at the cute little glucose. Plants are gonna store these sugars away until they're ready to use them. But if a plant gets eaten by a herbivore, then that sugar gets used by the herbivore. If the herbivore gets eaten, then that sugar is gonna power the carnivore, right. So you see, you can trace all of the energy that you use through the animals and plants that you eat back to the sun. Yay, the sun! Yeah. But wait, there's more. Check out the leaves on this plant. You see those little bubbles? That's where your oxygen comes from. When plants make sugars, there's oxygen left over that they breathe out like you breathe out carbon dioxide. So take a nice breath and say, thank you, plants. Thank you, photosynthesizers of the world. You're welcome. And then breathe out and say, there you go, photosynthesizers. Have some more carbon dioxide so you can make more food for me. This is the ultimate example of interdependence. We get the energy that we need and the oxygen that we breathe from the plants and other photosynthesizers out there. In return, we give them the carbon dioxide that they need to make more food. All right, that's it for photosynthesis. If you've got more words you wanna know, type them to me, send them in a comment, and I might do your word next on Speaking Scientifically. Bye. Speaking scientifically. Speaking scientifically.